If God is for us, who can be against us? The battle truly belongs to the Lord. Let's stand and sing. When all I see is the battle, you see my victory. When all I see is a mountain, you see a mountain. And as I walk through the shadow, your love surrounds me. There's nothing to fear now, for I am safe with you. Sing it out. So when I fight, I'll fight on my knees With my hands lifted high Oh God, the battle belongs to you And every fear I lay at your feet I'll sing through the night Oh God, the battle belongs to you And if you are for me, who can be against me? For Jesus, there's nothing impossible for you. When all I see are the ashes, you see the You see the empty tomb. So when I fight, I'll fight on my knees with my hands lifted high. Oh God, the battle belongs to you. And every fear I lay at your feet, I'll see through the night. Oh God, the battle belongs to you. Almighty fortress, you go before us. Nothing can stand against the power of our God. You shine in the shadows, you win every battle. Nothing can stand against the power of our God. Almighty fortress, you go before us. Nothing can stand against the power of our God. You shine in the shadows. You win every battle. Nothing can stand against the power of our God. the power of our God. You shine in the shadows. You win every battle. Nothing can stand against the power of our God. So when I fight, I'll fight on my knees with my hands lifted high. Oh God, the battle belongs to today. All right, good morning and welcome to Lost Mountain. You can be seated for just a few minutes. It's going to be a great morning today, and I'm glad you've joined us as we continue our teaching series, The God You Thought You Knew. Now, when you made your way in this morning, there should have been a program on your seats. Inside of that program is a connection card that looks just like this, if you want to go ahead and take that out. Now, if you're a regular attender or a member here at Lost Mountain, you can just put your name and email address on there unless any of your information has changed. But if you're newer to Lost Mountain or maybe this is your first time with us, 
I'd like for you to fill out to the front of this connection card as much as you possibly can. And as you make your way down the card, you'll see a question that says, how did you hear about Lost Mountain? If you could fill that in, we would greatly appreciate it because that gives us a better sense of where and how God is working. Now, one of the reasons that we ask that this connection card be completed each and every week is because we believe that God is always asking us to take a next step towards him. On the back of this connection card, you will see several of those next steps that you could potentially take today. I want you to really consider what it is that God is asking you to do today, and you can check whichever box applies to you. Also, in your program this morning, you will notice a giving envelope. If you prefer to give a physical offering on Sundays rather than online or by text, you can go ahead and fill those out, and you can drop those in the drop boxes at the exits on your way out this morning. Also, there might be some additional next steps that Pastor Matt may recommend taking through his sermon today, so you'll want to keep those connection cards close by and fill those out as the service progresses today. We're going to continue singing in just a moment, but I'd like the opportunity to pray for us. Would you pray with me? Father, we're grateful to be in this place this morning. Some of us are coming from a host of varying circumstances this week. There are situations that are beyond our control, and we simply don't know what to do. And so some of us may be here today out of desperation. And I just ask, Father, that you would um, soften those hearts that are here because they just didn't have anywhere else to go this morning and that they would be receptive to the truth that you want to speak in to them today. I also pray, Father, over the follower of Jesus that is here ready to encounter you and to receive from you today. I pray that we would all be mutually encouraged by one another's faith today, that we would be strengthened to go and impact the communities that we are a part of for the sake of the gospel. That's why we're here this morning. We're here to remind each other of the reality of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus himself. So I pray that that would do something in us today as we continue singing and as we open our hearts to receive the message that you want to articulate through our pastor this morning. I pray over these things. I pray that we would never neglect the assembling of the church. So thank you for bringing us all into this place today, knowing full well that every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. You are why we're here today. And so would you receive our praise as we continue singing to you this morning. And we pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, let's stand and continue singing together.
comes to save He's here to set the captives For who can stop the Lord Almighty? Our God is the Lion, the Lion of Judah He's warring with power and fighting our battles And every knee will bow before Him Our God is the Lamb, the Lamb that was slain sins of the world His blood breaks the chains and every knee will bow before the lion and the lamb and every knee will bow before Him Every knee will bow Tongue confess that you are God Sing it out, who can stop the Lord? Who can stop the Lord? Oh said about if God is for us, who can be against us? And if you'd allow me, I want to read over us real quick what it means that Christ died for us and what that does for us with our standing with the Father. It says in Hebrews, therefore, brothers and sisters, since we have boldness to enter the sanctuary through the blood of Jesus, he has inaugurated for us a new and living way through the curtain that is through his flesh. And since we have a great high priest over the house of God, this is the part we need to hear. Let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith, with our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience and our bodies washed in pure water. Let us hold on to the confession of our hope without wavering since he who promised is faithful. Our God, has initiated holiness for us by sending a son. So I don't know where you're coming from this morning, but you need to know that if you are in Christ, you have nothing to prove before the Father. You need only to rest in his love and to let him love you. And that produces love in us for him. Let's sing this together this morning. Let's see if 
because we have any love in ourselves, God, but because you first loved us. Father, I pray that the truth of the gospel would sink deeper into our hearts every day, that we'd grow deeper into grace, God. Father, that as we hear your word preached, that you would soften our hearts as Jake prayed earlier. God, we can trust you not just because you are God, not just because you are good, not just because you are sovereign, but because you love us also. We pray all these things in the blessed name of Jesus. Amen and amen. You may be seated this morning. Savior say, thy strength indeed is small. Child of weakness, watch and pray. Find in me thine all in all. 
Jesus paid it all, all to Him I owe. Sin had left a crimson stain, He washed it white as snow. Jesus paid it all, all to Him I owe. Sin had left a crimson stain, He washed it white as snow. and stain, He washed it white as snow, He washed it white as snow, He washed it white as snow. Stain, he washed it away. 